Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a Minecraft server so you can play with your friends and you can finally, finally play for free without paying anybody to make a server or without paying one of those websites that make servers for you. Before we start with the tutorial, I need to let you know that this server is run on your own computer. Therefore, this is a server that you're going to control manually, meaning that you need to be on your computer. You need to turn on the server for the server to be on and your friends to be able to join. Once you know that, let's get started. Step number one will be to click the first link in the description of this video, which will bring you to the official Minecraft.net website to download the server file as we can see we have download minecraft server 1.18.2 jar which is the most recent version of minecraft by the time you're watching this video this number here will be updated and therefore if you want to download manually 1.18.2 you're gonna have to look it up if not just go ahead and download 1.19 1.20 or whatever version you have at this moment because this tutorial would work for any version of minecraft in the future okay so once we're here we're going to click this little green minecraft server 1.18.2 jar file right here and the download should start immediately if it has you go through another link or something like that that. it's a wrong website you're in the wrong place but i'm linking the right website so let's just wait for that to download as we can see down here in the bottom left if you have a different browser like opera maybe it's going to be on the top left on the top right i'm sorry just go ahead and download that and we could go ahead and drop it to the desktop oops we could drop it to the desktop right here just for safekeeping right and now you might see this file and it might have a different icon right you might not even see this cop in here don't worry before we make the server work we need to download java 18 even if you see this cop file right here right you might not have java 18 updated on your computer and that might not work and your server might crash randomly or might not even work at all so we need to download java 18 for that we're going to click the second link in the description which will bring you to this website where we're going to scroll down until we find java 18 we're going to click on windows and we're going to download the x64 installer go ahead and download that you need to make sure you download the x64 installer because if you download the x32 version you won't be able to run more than two gigabytes on your server therefore your server will pretty much not perform very good so anyways once we have downloaded that we're going to drop it into the desktop as well and before we install java 18 we need to download Jarfix as well so go ahead and click on that third link in the description which will bring you to this website and in here we're going to click download it's going to take us down here and we're going to click jarfix.x and as always it should have started to download immediately and let's go ahead and drop that into the desktop as well now we have three files let's do this in the right order right so first we're going to install the java 18 right the jdk 18 go ahead and double click on it after you click the java installer a sign will come up you have to accept the terms and pretty much start the installation it's pretty simple just click next all the time and it's just going to install java it's a pretty simple process just like installing any simple software in your computer once the installer has complete, go ahead and close it and you should be good. Now we could run the jar fix. Go ahead and double click on the jar fix. The jar fix should immediately run. It might ask you for administrator permission. Go ahead and give it permission. And then there we go. The jar fix has been run. Let's go ahead and click OK. And now we could even delete these two. We could delete the Java installation and the jar fix. OK, gone. Now we're going to make a new folder to put our server under. I'm going to go ahead and name the server uh, subscribe, right? Subscribe. Open that folder app and drop in the server file that we downloaded first. As we can see, we have it here and go ahead and double click it. And that should immediately start the server installation. Do not anything until everything looks the way that mine looks now once everything looks like this in your computer we're going to have to open the ula file and go ahead and change this ula equals to false change it to true right do not put any space after just ula equal to true go ahead and save it save and i'll go ahead and double click the server file one more time let's wait for that to uh, start it's going to take a little bit now because now it's going to run the whole server this time because we have accepted the ula conditions right as you can see it's loading up we can see that it opened down here it's asking me to allow access we need to give it permission to the firewall in order to the server to be connected to the internet so when this sign pops up just click allow access as you can see my server opened down here it was behind my folder so i couldn't see it but as you can see we could see that it says done right here right so once the server says done that means the server is up and running now i'm going to go ahead and stop the server in order to stop a server just type a stop in the command of the server whatever just click there stop and as you can see the server has fully stopped i recommend you close it like that every time because that way it's going to close any secondary application and your computer will be performing good okay now in order for us to join our own server we need to modify the server properties to add our own local IP address. In order to do that, go ahead and right click on server properties and click open with notepad. You should have notepad. I have notepad plus plus. It doesn't matter. You should have notepad, right? So in here, we're going to look for something called server IP. So just to scroll down until you find server IP. As you can see for me, it's a string 43 right here, server IP. And in there, we're going to type our local IPv4 address. How do you find your local IPv4 address? Go ahead and type command prompt in the search bar. As you can see, command prompt comes up. Go ahead and click on that. And in here, we're going to type IP 
config. Just like that, we're going to type ipconfig and go ahead and press enter. And that is going to bring up some information about your computer. Go ahead and find the line called IPv4 address and copy that last number, right? The 192, it should be a 192 number or something like that. Go ahead and copy that number, control C, and you can close command prompt right now. And we're going to paste that on server IP. So you can see we have server IP right here. And that is our local IP address. Make sure that you remember that number. You could write it down somewhere. You could just copy it because that is the number that we're going to use ourselves to join our own server, right? So we could now save this and close the server properties let's go ahead and run the server again just click on the server file and it's going to start the server as we can see here starting the server preparing spawn area all of that and now i'm going to launch minecraft so we could join our own server now in minecraft i'm going to click on multiplayer i'm going to click add server and i'm going to put that server address right our local host you could also type local host right instead of putting this number you could just delete that and type local host and that will also work for some of you but for some of you local host might not work and you just have to put this number in let's go ahead and click done and that's going to add the server as we can see if we click done and join and as you can see if we check the interface we have joined our own server it's cuba joined the game right if we check the interface we have joined let's go ahead and stop the server real quick and now you might be asking okay fine i could join my server but i don't want a server for myself well some of you might i make servers for myself sometimes anyways you might want a server for your friends to join how do you have your friends join that is a more complicated process it's called port forwarding but for your luck i made a video just yesterday on how to port forward a server and that video is going to be appearing right here on the screen just go ahead and watch that video to learn how to port forward your server to have your friends join that process takes a little bit longer that's why i made a video for it so i wouldn't confuse you guys in the same video just go ahead and watch that video and with that video and this video you should be able to make a server and put forward it so your friends could join i hope this video helped you out and as always bye bye